Okay, in this little video, I'm going to talk about the proof of the projection theorem. So in the proof of the projection theorem, we actually use a couple of lemmas. The first one is the uh, vector space version of the Pythagorean theorem. The second one is this is this um, uh, orthogonality condition. That is y minus m star inner product m star minus m is equal to zero. Okay, so we're going to use these two in the proof of the projection theorem. So here's the proof. We start with any m in the subspace m. We need to show that the norm of y minus m is minimized when m is equal to m star. Okay, that's what we're setting out to prove, and so hopefully all of this will do that. So here, y minus m norm squared, we can take as the inner product of y minus m with itself. So here, we've made the, the assumption that there is a norm defined and an inner product that it, so this norm is an induced norm on associated with this inner product, okay? So we've actually made an assumption there. Okay, not too big of an assumption. So I take this quantity now and I add and subtract, or rather I subtract and add m star. So I subtract m star, add m star to both sides of the inner product, okay? And so this quantity now I can break up into a sum of four inner products. So that's like the, again, the vector space version of FOIL. So I get y minus m star inner product with itself, m star minus m inner product with itself, and then the two cross terms. We have already shown in lemma two that the cross terms are both zero. Okay, so the inner product of y minus m norm squared is equal to y minus m star norm squared plus m star minus m norm squared. So if I look at, so basically the norm of m, of y minus m, is equal to the sum of two norms, non-negative quantities. So notice that this fun term here is independent of m, it's independent of m. This term is obviously dependent on m. And so the smallest that the sum of these two terms can be is when this term is equal to zero. Okay, so these are two non-negative terms. This one is independent of m. This one is a function of m. This is a, this can only be minimized when m star is equal to m. Okay, when m, or rather when m is equal to m star. This shows that m is the minimizer. M star is the minimizer. For any other m in the subspace, I will get a larger. Uh, difference between y and m. So this shows that minimization. This proves the projection theorem. <laughs>